what's up everybody and welcome back to another ninja tutorial so in this one we're gonna be going over the instagram feed widget for webflow We decided to go ahead and create a widget like this just because I saw a lot of tools on the web that you actually need to pay like 10 bucks for a simple feature that you can connect Zapier and Webflow and like leave it like that, don't worry about it. So yeah, uh, we're gonna be going over a few steps. First, uh, we're gonna be copying one of these sections to uh, our uh, about page, Flow Ninja about page. Then we're gonna be connecting the C CMS with the FinSuite um, CMS slider. Then after that, we're gonna be connecting everything with Zapier and like waiting for 15 minutes for the post to go live on our website. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. So let's get um, like just preview what uh, what this is about in, in general. So let me go here. So we have a, a lot of different examples of the handles that you can actually go ahead and like customize, you can like change the interactions, you can update the designs, whatever you, you wanna do in order to make it work for your uh, your client or your website. We're not showing the descriptions because sometimes, you know, you can publish a description that is really, really, really long. And then it's it's either gonna fail a zap if you have it like under 150 captions or I mean characters or whatever, or it's gonna look pretty ugly on the website itself when you have it like and nobody's gonna read it. So that's why we're just getting the page, the Instagram uh, image, and then we're getting the Instagram link. So we have that, you have your handle here. Uh, we have this also. We have like a single post looking like Instagram and I don't have the full post slider. So basically you can decide on which one you wanna use actually. In our use case, we're gonna be using the slider one. This one, this is gonna be the first slider, just because it's using the FinSuite CMS library in order to push the posts in the slider format. And you can we can cover all of the bases with just showing this one. So let's go ahead uh, and jump straight into it. So on our website, we're on the about page. We're gonna go here, command C here on our website, uh, command uh, V, paste it in. Uh, the first thing is, uh, I actually don't want like these duplicate classes, so I'm gonna remove this, name it section that we're using on a website. I don't want a container too, I just want a container. Uh, I don't need to add anything else. And then for this, I'm just gonna remove this to white text, and then I'm gonna add a margin of 50. Uh, we're using like a class namings like that, so it's gonna be pretty simple to go ahead and edit everything. So then the next thing, uh, we have this Instagram slider that is not connected to the CMS, it's just a static item. Now we have the hidden slider data, basically connected here. So in order to make this work, we need to go to the step two of our tutorial and go ahead and create a CMS. So you can see that I or I've already created a CMS like that. Settings, I have the name, that can be whatever you want to. We have the Insta image and then Insta post URL. So just for a test, Let's go ahead and add two new posts. So test post one. Insta image can be something like this. Insta post URL. Let's go and find the URL of that image here. This one. Then post. Let's go test post two. Let's go ahead and get it from here. Insta post here. And then let's post in the image to be this one. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, create. Now we can go back to our collection wrapper, connect it to Instagrams, and let's show it. So anything that actually uh, is in this um, collection, like data feed, is going to be showing up in our slider on the top. So let's paste it inside of this image get image from insta image and let's get the alt text also from mm, it's gonna be a let's set it as a decorative so that we don't have any items there to mess around with insta image wrapper get info from insta post url open in a new tab top info we need to go ahead and connect get text from published on it's not published at the moment so that's why it's not showing up 
and then let's just go here and then hide this item and bam now if we go ahead and publish this we're gonna be previewing uh, two of the images we have at the moment in our collection list on our website and then after that we're gonna be going in zapier and making the final steps the final adjustments i mean uh we need to add a code actually so that's what i forgot uh we need to go here uh copy everything from this so if you want a, a little bit more detailed uh, like overview of how this works you can go to the fin uh, webflow channel but in this case we're just command c this we're using the first slider so it's the first one and then we have the second one also on the bottom <clears throat> here so depending on which one you use you're going to use that code so let's go here we're going to paste this in so the uh, fs slider 2 we're going to be removing that one save and then we're going to be going ahead and publishing it yes and then if we go here you can see that we have only, only those two posts and now we're going to be jumping into the step of actually going ahead and connecting the Zapier. So we're going to go ahead and search for Instagram. New media post. And don't worry about in this step because uh, Zapier is going to be fetching images only in the 15 minute period. So if you publish an image and you don't see it on your website straight away, don't worry about it. It's going to take from one minute to 15 minutes, depending on their interval, but it's going to be showing up in the end. Instagram Flow Ninja Agency. In this step, you can connect um, your uh, account if needed, but we have our already connected, test the trigger, and yeah, we're having this latest post here. Continue. Uh, then the next step is gonna be searching for Webflow here, adding the Webflow itself, adding the action events to create a live item on our website. Continue. Webflow account, we're going to use our Webflow account. Again, you're going to be connecting your account if you have your account here. Continue. Site is going to be our Flow Ninja website. And then Instagram here. We need the Insta image is going to be media URL. Insta post URL is going to be this one. Name. Let's go get the ID. Slug. Let's go get the ID again. Archived false draft false continue let's test and continue and this is going to be sending our our test live so let's turn on our zap and we are done basically going back to our website we can see that career at full ninja is live so the latest post is there You're, we're actually going and linking it to it and if we go ahead, uh, open up our phone and post to our Instagram, it's going to be showing up on our website in like the 15 minute period, something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. Now you have a free to use Instagram widget on your website installed like in five minutes or so. You can uh, clone this uh, free widget on our website uh, below in the link, flow.ninja, uh, free resources, and then you can clone this completely for free. Yeah, stay tuned for next tutorials. Bye bye.